Hey guys, welcome back to Send Crypto. In today's content, we're gonna talk about BTC very quickly. I'm just gonna give you a quick uh, update regarding the current state of the market. As we discussed uh, previously, uh, temporary support for BTC immediate support was like a 94 to 9500 range, a possible push to the upside up to like a 105 range, right? So it is very critical on the daily time frame. Uh, the bulls basically they need to basically uh, keep a you know keep a strong strong. Uh, uh, strong momentum and then not to let uh, the bears basically drop the price below 9400 if we drop below 9400 uh, next area to look for at least it is going to be like a low you know low 9k low 9k just we talked about it previously also 91 to 9200 range going to be uh, just about like a uh, 236 pullback just by this area it is going to be like a 236 pullback if we lose this uh you know 236 pullback we're gonna to have to drop all the way down to like a 382 roughly around 380 which is going to be uh just about 8500 range okay and uh we got a strong support also like at 8200 range but it is too soon to talk about like a 8200 range which is like a 52 50 percent pullback 50% pullback and then we got this uh, you know 8700 range on the daily 100 EMA that's a red line you see now that's a red line you see that just by this area all right all right so red line 100 EMA on the daily time frame and at the same time it is a 382 so we definitely definitely need to basically keep a strong strong uh, uh, strong support above this uh, 21 EMA on the daily time frame which is currently just about 9670 so it's going to be very tough uh, for the bulls basically to uh, uh you know uh, break above uh, 9670 for the next uh, few hours at least for the short term right let's take a look at the 12 hour time frame so 12 hour time frame we lost the uh, 21 EMA you guys remember we always talk about the 20 the, the uh, 21 EMA on the 12 hour time frame very important most of the time if we lose uh, you know the 21 EMA on the 12 hour time frame of course we already if you lose the 21 EMA on the 12 hour time frame you already lost it on the six hour right so if you lose it, you're going to be looking for support on the 100 EMA 100 EMA it is also exactly at 9050 okay so 90 however you look at it uh, low 9k is going to be playing a very very crucial role at least for the short term right so at the same time uh, if you take a look at it on the six hour time frame we mentioned it previously pay attention to your six hour you know 100 EMA all right so major support was like uh you know one you know the major support was a uh, uh, initial major support was a uh, uh, four hour 100 EMA and then uh, the next major support going to be uh six hour 100 EMA basically we lost the uh, four hour 100 EMA uh, yesterday now we're sitting on a six hour 100 EMA on the on the six hour so we definitely gonna need to uh, basically keep the high momentum uh, just above this uh just above uh, the six hour 100 ma you can see like how we got a you know price got bought up very quickly uh, just about this area of a uh, 95 9500 to 9550 range right so at least on a uh, best time best time drop all the way down to like a yep 9450 range 9468 and binance also right but by a bit i think we just uh, drop uh, just about like 9095 9480 range right so it is looking very critical right now but the good thing at least for the bulls you take a look at it we are looking very strong uh, in terms of volume price got bought up like uh, you know with a very high volume though that's that's very good you know that's the biggest volume like uh, since we started dropping this initial volume was uh, you know just to kick out uh, you know the you know the high leverage people so uh, but I you know I'm assuming that's a, that's a red volume not to worry about too much about like the greenness of it just cuz uh, you know we needed to kick out all these uh, high leverage uh, people uh, you know with the 30 40 50 axis and stuff like that and then uh, before uh, the drop down to uh, the 100 EMA on the, on the 6 hour time frame so we're looking good in terms of volume so we just need to uh, basically move sideways if you bullish that's that's a very good sign but if you bearish i would love to see a uh, bc to pump back up to like a 99.50 to 10k range for a uh, basically a bearish setup before dropping down but for the bulls that's that's actually looking very very good right so let's take a look at it on the hourly time frame so and uh take a look at the macd and uh okay on the hourly time frame it's not looking bad it is we got a uh, we got a good good uh, uh, we got a good support in terms of uh, you know RSI we got this uh, divergence on our side looking extremely bullish at the same time if you like trend lines 
you also got a nice uh, basically trend line you need to be uh, we need to break above it you know that's that's beautiful setup right in term of bullishness so you got volume decreasing right uh, basically volume decreasing price is what price is dropping so that's a good sign at least for the short term so we got the push to the upside price is coming back down to a uh, to basically uh, correct we could be expecting price to uh, pump back above this uh, trend line at least for the short term and try to attempt at least for the short term to retest like a 99.50 so immediate resistance for price action going to be 99 to 99.50 range okay so for the bulls we definitely going to need to uh, break this area in order to basically uh, look for 10.2 to 10.4 10.5 area range okay 99 to 99.50 area going to be the next immediate uh, uh, resistance at least for the short term so the uh, take a look at the MACD we got a nice uh, bullish divergence also so it is not something like you want to be messing with because sometimes these bullish setups uh, you don't see you don't see them like playing out like uh, uh, as soon as you uh, you get the you know the divergence they don't play out okay it takes like some time uh, you know few days two to three days for you to see like uh, you know the juicy move to the upside but at least for the short term we need to break 99 99 to 99.50 and then we could be looking for a 0.618 pullback for the bullish setup right so bullish setup 0.618 pullback gonna take us right at 10 1070 all the way up to like a 102 right 10 1070 all the way up to 10 270 roughly okay give or take right depending on volatility and which action you're using so at least for the short term that's what i see on the chart so let's take a look at the weekly time frame weekly time frame nothing major at all like uh you know uh, in term of uh, bearishness we, we could be worrying too much about a btc dropping back down to the 21 ema which is roughly around like a 8700 range and we talked about 87 where, where is 87 87 is exactly at 382 okay 87 is at 382 so it is pretty normal for market to uh, drop back down to a 382 so this move pushing back up coming back down to 382 is very possible so i would not be messing just about like a you know long uh long in btc like at 10.5 like i said it multiple times do not do not long btc above 10k i said it like uh you know during all my premium uh, both premium and both uh, uh basically both uh, you know public live stream do not long btc it is better to long it mid 95 you know to like a low 9k high 9k area even if we drop back down you're just gonna break even stuff like that right but if you long bits above 10k we most likely going to be dropping back down and we can drop all the way back down to like 85 to uh, 8200 range we got a strong support at 8200 range and uh, we also got a strong support at uh, 77 but it is too early to talk about 82 and 87 let's take care of 9900 90 low 9k area first before we talk about like a, you know 7700 range on the macro scale like i said right i'm still bearish on the macro scale like we we got this a uh, flat crash and i said it multiple times until we break 12k i'm not going to be basically a i'm not going i'm not going to be basically a, a bullish at all so i'm still bearish until we break a 12k and i'm going to be 85 to 90 percent bullish at least for a short term we got a clean w x and we're looking for a y correction all the way down to like a 5k area i know it is too soon also to talk about 5k but it is in a chart okay if we lose a you know if the bulls lose an 85 uh 8200 range 77 i don't think like a 6k area gonna hold at least for the short term in term of volume we also talk about the bearish setup for the medium term right we said like we're going to be getting a very high volume and if that volume is green we're most likely going to break what we're going to break 12k and i'm going to be very bullish but if that volume is red it's not going to look good at all we're already starting to get red volume on the on the weekly time frame and if we keep up this red volume most likely monthly time frame going to be very very red and we do not want the monthly time frame to be red okay we do not want the monthly time frame to be red at all in a uh, in a strong uptrend a bull market uh, you don't want to get a uh, you know you know a uh, shooting star on the monthly time frame that's going to be very very bearish at least for the short term so dropping anywhere around like 80 to 100 before the end of the month uh could confirm my bearishness and we could be facing like a lower numbers such as like a 5k 6k 7k area range but we're going to talk about as soon as we get the monthly candle uh closing on uh below uh, you know uh, below like a 9k we do not want the monthly candle to close below 9k 
it could be it okay it could be it at least for the short term right let's take a look at it on binance it could be basically what i mean it, it could be like a, you know the end the end of the uptrend so monthly 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 uh monthly candle is very very important at least for bull market if like you're thinking like we in the bull market you just gotta pay attention to your volume on the monthly time frame so currently we only got like uh one million almost that's a uh, that's a lot guys that's we almost got like nine hundred and twenty eight thousand trading volume uh on binance on the monthly right that's a lot okay last month we got like 1.6 so we already got half of the uh, volume we got like last month so that's a lot so if like we're gonna get uh, but we already you know we're gonna get like 10 more days for february so we might get just we might just get like 1.6 for the for the monthly right uh, 1.6 uh you know million trading volume at least for the short term it's not gonna be that bad right but if we get like a 2 million trading volume just like this one 1 1.8 uh 1.8 1.9 on the monthly basis and this candle gonna be red we just have to look for lower numbers right next support going, going to be just about 5500 range okay 5500 range it is too soon like i said too soon to talk about it but it is in the chart we just have to pay attention it is not looking good at all for the you know for the bulls you know if they lose a if they lose a basically 9k area it's going to be really 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 bad for, for the next few months few weeks right but we gotta we gotta you know higher high volatility they can pump that they can pump the price back up to 10 5 10 2 area uh you know uh, as soon as we get some more some more volume at least for the short term right that's all i wanted to cover so just to give you a quick recap we, we didn't talk about the elliott wave perspective right so in terms of elliott wave uh, we basically already got a five way structure to the upside We got one, two, three, four, and five. So you can see like, if if okay, if the trend is uh, basically strong enough, if and only if right, it is strong enough, we could be expecting a three eight two pullback. Okay, three eight three eight two pullback. We already got a nice pullback at two thirty six, and most of the time, two does two thirty six is pretty strong, right? It tends to give you another like a five to ten percent move depending on uh, which asset you're using right but sometimes it can give you at least another five percent move to the upside right but if we lose uh basically a uh, 236 we already talk about it right to you know 382 going to be at 8700 so it is something like we got to keep in mind at the same time uh 8700 was also a previous uh, a nice previous uh you know resistance just about this area okay da, da, da yeah previous resistance just about 8700 87 to 8800 was like uh, we got a nice resistance just about 8700 which is going to be uh 382 so we do not want to lose uh you know basically a 9500 range guys it, it's gonna look very very bad and then we could be looking for a nice abc correction down and if we get a nasty move down this move con can only be a a, car, a wave and we could be looking for the b wave back up to like a 96 range 96 to 95 and then we could be looking uh, for another move all the way down to 7700 range okay so at least for the short term that's what i see uh, in the chart uh, you know we got this five three and then we can get this five you know another five wave down but if we get a support just about a 94 9500 rand we can just eliminate this uh, uh bearish setup and look for you know if you know further move to the upside from a uh, uh, 236 range which is just about a 94 to 95 range right all right guys that's all i wanted to cover today just wanted to make it a very short live stream uh not a live stream but recording <laughs> so i'm gonna be going live soon uh re you know and then uh, we're gonna talk about altcoin we're gonna talk about ethereum litecoin neo gas uh you know uh, Zilliqa and all of the uh, you know all the alt XRP and then uh, basically EOS and all of them basically right thanks a lot for watching guys